We begin tonight with new information on an officer involved shooting in Garland. Police say officers were trying to pull over a driver when the suspect fired at them and officers returned fire. Thank you for watching tonight. I'm Cynthia Seguirre. Chris has the night off. The shooting happened just before six today on Glen Haven and South Bullock Drive. Sydney Persing joins us live from the scene. Sydney, you just got an update from investigators. What did they say? Well, Izzy, police will still not reveal the identity of that suspect, but did reveal he is in critical condition at this hour. Also, in the last hour, Garland PD say they initiated that traffic stop that you mentioned closer to 5.30 p.m. tonight, but the driver, according to police, refused to stop. So began a chase, slow speed, 30 to 40 miles per hour. That chase ended here in this residential neighborhood, and it's where police say the driver exited his vehicle, pulled out a weapon, fired at the officers still in their vehicle multiple times. Both officers, police report, returned fire and shot that suspect. Medics on scene provided immediate medical aid. According to police, that suspect, they say, was transported to the hospital, again in critical condition. Meanwhile, neighbors here, going about their regular regular evenings heard gunshots, speeding cars and helicopters. So normally this neighborhood pretty quiet, so this is actually pretty unexpected for this to occur here. It was definitely scary, uh, multiple gunshots, so one wasn't really sure if it was an immediate threat to anybody in the neighborhood. Thankfully, though, nobody else in this neighborhood was injured. A Garland PD spokesperson says the two officers involved will be placed on paid administrative leave in accordance with departmental policy. And as you can see over my shoulder, this investigation at this moment, it is still active. There are a number of officers here on scene. We will update you on air and online with more information as soon as we learn it. Izzy.